Hey guys, so in a bunch of my recent videos, especially I think I talked about it a lot in my um, how to video on snow plowing, I've talked a lot about um, how important maintenance is to us as far as our snow plow trucks go. And so I just wanted to kind of walk around and show you guys exactly what we do before or after every storm. Um, just to prepare for storms, make sure everything's working as it should, everything's topped off as far as fluids. Um, and a lot of you guys are probably going to disagree with this. Not Maybe not a lot, but there's plenty of guys out there who do very little maintenance on their trucks and you really feel it. Um, I've talked to a lot of contractors who do a lot of snow plowing and they, they say they make very little money on it. And as far as snow plowing goes for us, we make awesome money and uh, we never have breakdowns. And when I say never, I'm not lying. We have never had a breakdown as long as I've been here during a storm. Um, we've had some repairs we've done, but we always catch them before they become a problem. So the big thing for us that we always do is we power wash all of our trucks after every storm. So we invested in a uh, heated power washer Ours is from Power America. There's a lot of good brands out there. So um, it's heated, it runs off of kerosene or diesel. And this has been huge for us. Um, like I said, after every storm, we, we get through all the trucks and clean as much as we can get. We'll clean, you know, you wanna get all your suspension parts, we'll clean in the engine. Um, we'll run it obviously while we do that. Uh, frames, dump bodies. You want to get all that salt off and I mean that's a huge part when it comes to plow trucks is they get ruined because the salt just eats away at frames. Um, so we have very little rusting problems. I mean you can see this truck is, oh I don't know, four or five years old and this is what it has for rust on the frame. I mean it's almost nothing. Um, so I'm actually just about to power wash this one after a storm. You can see it's pretty gross right now. But, so that's the first huge thing we do. Then as far as frames go too, and salt resistance, um, spend the money to undercoat your truck. Um, either undercoat it or do some preventative spray or something. We undercoat all of our trucks and that usually lasts a while. And then we use a um, thing called fluid film, which uh, I can show you guys. It's a really good um, preventative thing for rust and you just spray it on it's kind of like a oily coating and it just prevents stuff from sticking and getting to the frame so it's really inexpensive you can buy it at your local uh, auto parts store and even if you you can't afford to undercoat all your trucks because that is expensive use buy this stuff it's like 45 bucks for a gallon of it and this can coat two to three trucks so you're spending what 15 bucks a truck and it lasts a season um, and you buy a spray gun with it like this and uh, hook it up to your compressor and spray it on so I mean you know with labor and fluid film you're spending I don't know at most 50 bucks to do each truck I mean if that saves your frame um, makes your truck last longer it's definitely worth it so after we clean, um, you know, we open up the engine compartment, we go through everything, top off all your fluids, antifreeze, check your batteries, check your oil, make sure you change your oil when you're supposed to, keep track. We uh, put duct tape and write our dates and mileage on our trucks so we know when it was done last. Um, now check your power steering fluid, check your belts, check your steering fluid. You know, you wanna check everything because you'd rather catch something before it happens than have it happen out when you're plowing. And uh, you're gonna lose money. Yeah, you're gonna spend time doing this. You're gonna pay somebody to go through all your trucks, but it's better than losing the time when they're out plowing and you can't, you know, you're held up because you have problems. So, I mean, as far as the power washing goes, I'll show you two exact same plows, same years. Um, so this one we have had since it was brand new. And I mean, there's, look at the springs. 
everything's in great shape because of how we've kept it. And I will show you my plow truck, which we have only owned for a couple years, but it's the same year as this, this one ton. And I mean, look at the springs. They're all rusted up. You know, your cylinders are all rusted. Even the plow frame, your jack, your chains. I mean, everything is just not in as good a shape as it should be. And that's because it wasn't clean like we clean ours. So it's really worth it. You're gonna spend, it's an investment. All this preventive maintenance, is it's an investment, but in the long run, it's gonna save you money. Um, so yeah, you know, check all your fluids. Um, you know, check your plow, make sure everything works. Just make sure you're ready for a storm. Um, you'd rather have stuff catch something before a storm than be, uh, you know, caught up during the storm losing money. So, um, yeah, I think that's it as far as what we do. I mean, it's nothing crazy. You're not going to spend tons of time doing this. Um, I mean, if you spend maybe an hour on each truck going through everything, cleaning it, I know for some of you, you have huge fleets, you, you know, you have 20 or 30 trucks and you're saying, well, that adds up. That's days of cleaning trucks, but in the long run, it's going to save you money. I mean, if you have 20 or 30 trucks, you're, you have that much income. You know, we have three plow trucks and, you know, we spend a few hours after each storm. So if you have the money coming in, you're going to be able to pay for it. I'm, I'm telling you, in the long run, you are going to save money. Um, less replacing parts, you know, less issues when you're out plowing, less often you're going to have to replace trucks. I mean, I see you guys with your, your dump, your dump bodies and your pickup bodies that are just rusted apart and you have to replace a whole body or get it relined. And if you just spend, I mean, a couple of hours after every storm, you're not going to be spending thousands down the road to get stuff redone. And uh, another reason we keep stuff clean is it's just we like to have a good image and we like to look professional and keeping clean trucks, professional looking trucks is a great way to do that. So, uh, you know, you don't have to have the fanciest truck. We don't buy the fanciest trucks. We buy the base models for our trucks. But if you keep them clean and looking good, it's, it's going to make you look a lot more professional. So I hope that helps some people. Um, you know, if you guys have any other advice of stuff you do, Feel free to comment below, let me know. Um, but my personal opinion is all this preventative maintenance, cleaning, everything on your plow trucks is completely worth it. I mean, hopefully this plow comparison really can show you guys the difference between, you know, keeping carrier stuff and, and not. So thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys agreed with everything I said and you can you know, take some of that and maybe use some of it. So thanks for watching.